Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brad, and welcome back to Screamin' Pirate EDC. Today we're going to be doing another this or that, but it'll be a little bit different. It'll be a this or that or that. It's going to be three knives, uh, going to be taking a look at and comparing. First is going to be the TW Price Dawn, then the Pena Large Apache, and last it's going to be the Sharp by Design Mini Tempest. But before we get into the comparison, what do I have on me today? First up, my mug is going to be the Ginger Dead mug. This is from Death Wish Coffee. Very cool stuff, guys. Next up, my wallet is going to be the Apex wallet. This is from High Grain Designs. After that, my pry and pin. This is going to be the Vero Fulcrum, and this is going to be the Tactile Turn Bolt Action. A nice good look at those there, guys. My light is going to be the Raylight Mini Pineapple from Urban EDC Supply. There is a link in the description to my affiliate link. Anything purchased there does help the channel. And lastly, it's going to be, of course, guys, the Screaming Pirate EDC Hank. These can be purchased from Renegade EDC, link in the bio. Uh, I bio the description, guys. Anyone purchased helps out the channel. All right, guys. All that's out of the way. I'm gonna have some quick B-roll. Let's take a look at these knives and then we're gonna head top down. Uh, these are much closer than you think they are in overall size. Uh, some are close in price, some are not. Um, but I really think that all three of these are excellent front flippers. All right, guys, well, let's go ahead and head top down and take a closer look. All right, we are top down. Now, from the top, we have the TW Price Dawn, then the Sharp Eye Design Mini Tempest, and the Pena Large Apache. Now, as you can see, the Large Apache is the smallest of the three, so it's very interesting that it has large in its name that shows you how small a Pena can be, guys. Now, typically, I have stats that pop up right about now, um, but I figured it would be a little bit easier if I just went ahead and held all this up with a ruler and just went ahead and show you guys. So here is your Dawn. So you have a 3.3 inch blade. There you go. Your handle is just over four, okay? Next up, your Tempest. If you bring your tip all the way out to the edge there, you have a, oh gosh, guys, let it focus up. About a three and a half inch blade, you can see right there and your handle is gonna be right around four. Bring that to there, and then you're gonna have just under three inch blade here on your pinya, and your handle is going to be just under four inches. So there you go, guys. Easy stuff to show you guys there. Hopefully that was clear. Next up, let's do some quick weight just so we can compare the three. Now, all three of these are rocking M390. Um, two of these are Rayot. That would be your Pena and your Sharp by Design. Your uh, TW Price is actually a Best Tech. So first up, the TW Price is going to be 3.24 on your ounces. Your Sharp by Design is going to be 3.36. And then your Pena is the lightest at 2.85. Now, are you gonna be able to tell a difference in hand? Yes, are you gonna be able to tell a difference in pocket? No, um, very much going to be very, very similar. So let me go ahead and bring up these two first is the Pinion and the TW Price. Now, the reason why I'm showing these two first is they are the most similar in price. You are looking at right around 280 for this exact configuration in the TW Price and this is about 275 for your Pena. So there you go, very similar, both M390, but you know, one's more of a gentleman's carry, one more of an everyday EDC, as you can see with the Pena, you know, I am right up on the blade, I have a lot more to play with here on the TW price. Next up, I'll go ahead and show this because the TW price is the new kid, so you guys can all see this. This is versus your Tempest. These are very, very similar overall. Um, even though it's a three and a half inch versus a 3.3 inch blade, in hand they feel very, very similar. 
but your Tempest is really your standout when it comes to price because this one with this, oh gosh, focus up, with this carbon fiber inlay on both sides, guys, these are 425. Now, both these and the Pinyas are Rayot made, so what makes this so different? Honestly, part of it is the crowning, part of it is your mechanism. This titanium coating is, I mean, guys, this titanium feels so different than even the Pinyas. It's, it's soft and yet sometimes feels very good in hand. And honestly, these inlays are damn near perfect. I mean, I can't even feel transition here. And this ain't cheap, <laughs> to be entirely honest, guys. But we have all that out of the way. They're all very similar in size, but how are they in action? So the Drop Point Tempest, um, according to a couple other reviewers, uh, like Lefty, you can middle finger flick. I can barely middle finger flick this one. If I really, there you go, really get up in there, I can flick it. But honestly, where it shines is your front flip. Um, it's snappy, the detent is damn near perfect. Whenever you break your detent, it just glides shut, beautifully done by Brian. Well, how does the Pinya compare in contrast? So the Pinya is more of a, let me see if I can get him focus up, more of a top flipper there. Um, very smooth to open, but not as smooth to close. Now mine is a little more broken in. Man, guys, I am sorry about that focus there. Mine is a little more broken in, and this is the ebony wood here in this version. Um, but I would say the Sharp by Design is smoother, even though they are both Rayot made. I do think that one came out of the box a little bit better than this one. Now, it's really hard to compare the TW price here because this has been passed around to many, many reviewers. It was Lefty before me. It's going to be Knife Nerdery after me. I'm pretty sure Metal Complex had this one. The one thing I really love about this that the other two don't have, this clip, the screws are on the inside. A lot of custom makers did that. It makes it look really clean. Also, the multiple deployment methods are very welcome here. So if you watch the full review, middle finger flick, thumb flick, and a beautiful front flip, and the action is just glide shut. Very nicely done here. So with all that being said, guys, you know, what is your purpose here? I think your TW price, let me move those up, guys. Those are way down on the screen for you. The TW price and the Sharp by Design are going to be more of your everyday carry, but I feel like the Sharp by Design, if you have people that are kind of, quote, knife scared around you, oh, that one's a hard one. The Tempest is a hard one to, to sell to non-knife people. Um, the TW price is amazing in hand. It's very intriguing. But if I had to carry one every single day, the Pena is a very classic design. It looks like a traditional. There's something to be said for that. With that being said, guys, I think this gives you a good look at the three side by side by side, as it were. Let's go ahead and head back up top for my final conclusion. All right, guys, we are back up top. So as I usually do in the, my this or that, um, I'm not going to tell you which one is the best here. I'm going to tell you what I prefer and for what situation. Um, if you are in an office environment and they don't really, you know, love pocket knives around you and you want something more traditional or you love a traditional look, guys, Pena is where it's at. The Pena is very, very well done. It looks like a traditional. It, it, it kind of is very nice to have around non-knife people or if you want a very nice dressed up knife and you know, you have about 300 bucks, they're fantastic. If you really want the ultimate, you know, perfect, perfect detent and materials, I don't know that it gets better than the Sharp by Design Mini Tempest, guys. I mean, this thing has the most perfect detent I've ever felt on probably any knife, almost ever, guys. This is, this is custom level detent. It is very, very nice and very well done. And I, even though that you can finger flick the uh, drop point, I love, love this Bowie. Uh, yeah, if you love a smooth knife, you love a perfect detent, that's the one. It is gonna cost you, but that's the one. If you just want a great multi-deployment, really good front flipper, and you don't wanna break the bank, 280 guys, the TW price is it. Everyday carry, I mean, guys, this is, this is damn, damn good. If I had to pick one, 
I think it would be the TW Price guys. I like this as much as I like the three, yes, three Trevor Burgers that I have that are full customs. Um, it's fantastic. I love the detent. I like how smooth it is. Everyday carry knife, front flipper. This is my winner, guys. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, hopefully you gleaned something from this here. Uh, I hope you guys like front flippers as much as I do right now. And uh, do not forget... The website is live, ScreamingPirate.com. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. There's going to be another patch drop soon. Be on the lookout on my Instagram, and I'll catch you on the next one.